All right, uh, this is going to be part three of Law We're Learning on a Budget. Uh, as I left at the end of part two, I had just finished the ravine, putting some uh, plaster cloth in there, getting that uh, pretty well uh, finished out, and then <clears throat> decided that uh, I'd like to add maybe some additional uh, ridges back here, maybe tie this into the side of the ravine a little bit. It um, looks a little bit strange kind of sitting out here uh, on the edge. So I'm going to do that tonight. Um, also cast some plaster rocks so that we can um, put those in the bottom of the ravine there and, and add some other rock details <clears throat> to the front edge of the mountain here and, and maybe some, some on this ridge. So the plan for tonight, uh, finish the ridge, cast some rocks, and put down, put down some, uh, some more plaster cloth. So I will uh, begin getting ready to do that, and I will cut away and come back shortly with uh, some progress. Okay, first thing I'm going to do here is do some uh, plaster castings. Uh, I've got my <clears throat> plaster mixture ready to go here. And I'm going to pour it into the rock molds here. Uh, this is about the consistency of pancake batter. And that should be meaningful to most everybody. I think everybody's made pancakes at one time or another. So maybe a little thick pancake batter, but uh, that should be all right. Uh, the first thing I did was uh, wet the mold here to, uh, to help the, uh, the rock release. When it's uh, finished hardening up here, this is just regular plaster of Paris. And uh, this should set up in about 30 minutes. So we'll go ahead and get this started before we, we build any, uh, any more ridges back here. So let me get this last little bit in to part two of the mold here. is a pretty good tool for mixing this up. Always work good on biscuit batter for me, so I figured I'd work on rocks. So we'll just make sure we get this pushed down here, get all the edges uh, pushed down. Let's step over here and grab a putty knife quickly. And 
as I said, as you lay the cloth down, just generally um, place it where you would like it to go. And I'll come back in just a second and go ahead and use a paintbrush here and smooth out some of this plaster, kind of tie it into the other ridge I've got open. Make sure my um, bonding lines are hidden as much as possible. Pretty easy to work with. Um, as I said earlier, just make sure that you've got a paintbrush handy that you can wet the cloth back down with, sealing it into the uh, existing landforms. I may be out of shot right now. If I am, I apologize. I just want to make sure that I get this done before the plaster sets up too much. So pretty easy to work with. Um, not a lot of science here involved. <clears throat> just wet the cloth, lay it down where you want it, come back over with a wet paintbrush and smooth the plaster into the holes. What you can't see on the back side of the ridge here, I'm a little bit shy, so I may have to come back here with um, maybe not more cloth, but maybe some rocks or some talus or some vegetation just to kind of hide the edge of where this ridge is meeting the table on the back side here. Um, I also don't want to get too close to my track. It's pretty well wet down now, and it's working very well. And it's uh, when it's wet like this, it works a lot like um, the little paste that we used to have back in grade school. The stuff that we used to eat. If you're as old as I am, you'll remember that. So I think that's, going to, that's looking pretty good for the moment here. Uh, do a little touch up on this far end. Make sure that I've got the majority of the ridges out of it. Got a good, good uh, connection to my previous scenery from the other night. And that's looking, looking pretty good here. Few more brush strokes. I, I apologize if this is pretty boring uh, stuff here. Uh, anyway, here we go. So I'll fill in a few, a few of the holes that are um, showing from the previous evening. Brush those back in. Seal up my edges here. All right, looks pretty good. So we'll go ahead and go with that. And uh, I may cut a few more strips of cloth and we'll start laying it uh, over some of the exposed blue areas. So I will pause here and I'll get some more cloth cut and then we'll start um, laying some additional plaster uh, other places on the, on the layout. Okay, um, <clears throat> I've got some more of the plaster cloth laid down and I've actually used up all that I have, I don't know if you can see it very well, but right in through here, uh, between these two main lines and right over there by the edge of the ravine, and just back over here, I've laid some plaster cloth down. Uh, more, more to give uh, texture to the layout than anything else. I'll obviously go ahead and paint that and add scenery, ground cover to it, etc. Uh, I just wanted to show you here, I'm starting to take out the plaster rock molds, and uh, they're actually coming out pretty well. Let me go ahead and loosen up this big one. Hopefully it comes out as easily. And it did. So those look, those look pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and take the camera off the tripod here for a second. And we'll see if we can't maybe zoom in on this rock mold a little bit. So we got some pretty good definition there, and obviously once that's uh, painted and uh, all detailed out, why it'll look pretty good. 
So uh, what I may do here in the next few minutes is go up, go ahead and mix up another batch of plaster and we'll see if we can't maybe attach these to the bottom of the ravine. So I'll be back shortly. All right, uh, we'll go ahead and take one last shot for this evening. Um, you can see the, the plaster cloth that I have laid down here in between the main lines. Kind of got that started just so I can take some of that blue out before I paint it. Um, laid it in there a little bit wrinkly, add some definition. Um, over here in the bottom of my ravine, I've got the first couple of uh, plaster rock castings just laid down in there. Um, obviously, those will be painted. I'll fill around the edges with some talus and with some vegetation, but uh, just something to add some, some definition to the flat uh, bottom of the ravine there. I've got another mold sitting over here with some more rocks in it. So I may go and uh, attach those before the night's through here, but uh, just wanted to kind of give you a final update for this evening. And uh, hopefully in a day or two, I'll be back with uh, doing some more some more updates to the to the layout. So, um, what I would hope to get accomplished before the end of this week would be to uh, get the majority of the blue area covered with plaster cloth uh, that won't be covered by scenery, buildings, factories, etc. So, uh, that's what my my plan is for this week. And uh, if I can get all of that done, and it's before the weekend. Uh, I will try and also wire the switch machines and get the track power up to my um, board where I'm going to have the, the transformers and the switch controls. So for tonight, I'm going to go ahead and uh, close, and uh, thanks for watching.